What if you could forget about ever needing to plug in your electric vehicle or forget about charging your vehicle altogether? What if I told you that your car could be charged anywhere it's parked? Wireless charging makes that possible and could one day change the way we see electric vehicles. This would enable electric vehicles to be charged whenever parked, stopped at a red light, or even while driving with coils embedded underneath the road. In this video, we will look at emerging wireless charging technologies that will shape the future of electric mobility and power the autonomous future. Hello and welcome to EV Source. My name is Harry and I'm your host for today's dose of EVs and technology. Before we begin, if this is your first time here, please consider subscribing so you don't miss our future videos. Whenever you buy a mobile device, it will almost always come with a charging cable that has to physically be plugged into the device. But some devices can be charged wirelessly such as headphones and mobile phones using inductive G charging standard. Wireless charging is starting to become the new norm for certain mobile devices. In fact, I haven't used a cable to charge my phone for the last three years. I have a wireless charger next to my bed, one on my desk and one in the car. Even Tesla is implementing wireless phone chargers in its cars. Though others have been adding this feature in their cars for some time now, it's mostly available in luxury trims. For instance, 2017 Cadillac CT6 and CTX5 come standard with wireless phone charging, while some others offer it as an additional add-on package. But because we're transitioning to electric vehicles, charging an EV remains a concern for many people. While the charging infrastructure has been increasing quite rapidly, the number of EVs on the road is increasing even faster. You can already see long lineups at some charging stations. It's expected that EV sales will reach their peak around 2030 with around 30 million EVs per year. Battery prices, which account for one third the cost of electric cars today, are falling by as much as 20% a year. That price drop is what is expected to propel electric cars into being a major part of new vehicle sales in years to come. For instance, Volkswagen expects 25% of its sales to be electric by 2025, and Toyota plans to stop selling cars powered by fossil fuels completely by 2050. And that is if they still exist in 2050. And while there are over 20,000 charging locations in North America as of 2019, that number could be closer to 30,000 by the end of 2020 and continue to increase. But these are just charging stations where you can plug your car in to charge your EV. But there's another way to charge an EV that doesn't require charging stations at all. Say hello to Magnetic Resonance Wireless Power Transfer, which is a new type of wireless charging standard from a company called Witricity. This technology would enable electric cars to be charged wirelessly by parking the car above a charging coil that can also be embedded in the ground. A separate lane for EVs is also possible, but the high cost makes it difficult to scale. Though future technologies could make all of this possible, but today and in the near future, wireless charging coils could be used in places where the car is parked. Parking spaces are ideal, but this could also work on the side of the road. This would eliminate the need for charging stations that take up space which can be annoying for pedestrians, and not to mention having a cable hanging between the charging station and the car. So how does this work? Well, both coils, the transmitter and the receiver, are fine-tuned to a particular frequency, around 85 kHz. Each of them is a very efficient harmonic resonator that allows the energy to move between the two very efficiently. Resonant coupling occurs when the natural frequencies of the two systems are approximately the same. Wytricity power sources and receiver devices are specially designed magnetic resonators that efficiently transfer power over large distances via the magnetic near field. Some car companies have expressed a lot of interest in wireless charging. Mercedes-Benz, BMW and Nissan are among the few. While the well-known Qi charging standard is good enough for small mobile devices, it won't really work with cars. G chargers need the device to be very close to the charger and properly aligned in order to be charged. But the revolutionary standard developed by Witricity eliminates all that and enables high charging speed with varying distance even when not properly aligned. 
there are other companies that offer inductive charging as an add-on, such as Evatron, the makers of Plugless, that works with some electric vehicles today, including Tesla Model S. The charging speed their technology offers ranges between 3.3 to 7.2 kilowatts, which is typical to most homes and is within level 2 charging range. But Whitricity is promising 11 kilowatts of charging rate. But it gets better because Whitricity partnered up with Qualcomm in France to demonstrate a working solution for a continuous coil that can be embedded in the ground and enable over 20 kilowatt charging rate while driving at 100 kilometers an hour. This is the kind of technology that could actually change the electric vehicle industry in the coming years. While this is still in early phases, it can already be used at home to get a full charge overnight. The next logical step would be to introduce wireless charging in parking spaces and eventually on roads. I know, you must be thinking that even 20 kilowatts is not enough when you look at the charging rates of a Tesla supercharger that can operate at up to 350 kilowatts. The US Department of Energy has funded research into wireless charging technology, and together with Oak Ridge National Laboratory, they've demonstrated a working model with 120 kilowatt charging rate. This is what you'd get from a version 1 and version 2 Tesla supercharger chargers that offer up to 150 kilowatt rate. The laboratory is continuing their research with a goal to reach 350 kilowatt charging rate in the future. Once high energy outputs like this are possible, having coils embedded in the road would make more sense. But just like with any wireless technology, health and safety concerns become a topic of discussions. But Whitricity's approach with magnetic resonance power transfer is built with these concerns in mind. It doesn't pose any health or safety issues any more than an induction cooktop. It uses low-frequency magnetic waves that are safe and pose no threat to human health. It's not radio waves or microwaves, it's just magnetic waves that are contained between the transmitter coil and the receiver coil. Another thing that raises questions is efficiency. The assumption is that there's more loss in wireless electricity than there is with cables. But according to Alex Grusen, the CEO of Whitricity, their technology is 90-93% to efficient, which is equivalent to the efficiency of cables. When it comes to autonomous vehicles, it's only a matter of time before they become a reality. But before autonomous vehicles become the new norm, wireless charging will have to be implemented because there won't be anybody to plug in the cord. Sure, we could entertain the idea of having an automatic snake-like charger to charge the vehicle, like the one Tesla developed as a concept. But I think we can do better than that. This snake has so many joints and moving parts that down the road, somebody will be having a tough day doing maintenance on them. So in my opinion, wireless charging is crucial for the success of autonomous vehicles. When the car is not being used or it needs to get charged, it could just drive on a designated spot and get enough charge to continue. This technology is imperative for fleet vehicles such as delivery and ride sharing. Next year, Norway will fit 25 of Oslo's electric taxis with under-vehicle technology that will recharge them wirelessly on a taxi queue embedded with charging pads. Taxi industry is the ideal test bed for wireless charging and for high-mileage electric mobility across the board. I think in the short term, wireless charging might only be implemented in places where people leave their cars parked for a period of time and not necessarily on the roads other than for taxi queues. As the technology matures, battery technologies will also continue to improve enabling all modes of transportation to go electric in the future. So wireless charging could be a way for future vehicles to get charged which would help with autonomous vehicles enormously. Plugging in an electric vehicle in the future could be a secondary option in case the wireless charging fails. This would also make it more desirable to hide the charging port out of sight. The only reason why certain manufacturers still choose the charging port to be located in the same place where we fill our old gas guzzlers with dinosaur fluid is because it's more familiar. But imagine if you could forget about plugging anything into your car and that you never have to worry about charging your vehicle ever again because it will be always charging whenever it's parked. Carrying a charging cable and having to plug in your vehicle would almost be like carrying jumper cables and jump-starting your vehicle. It would be highly unusual to see anyone plugging in their vehicle in the future if wireless charging becomes the new norm. But what do you think about wireless charging? Do you think it will ever be widely adopted? Or is there perhaps another solution that is yet to be realized? Let me know in the comments below. Once again, we are at the end of the video and if you're still here, you are amazing. 
If you own a Tesla, get 10% off on your accessories when shopping at Abstract Ocean with the code EVSource. Also, don't forget to check out our merch store for shirts, hoodies, and more. And if you would like to show more support for the channel, consider becoming a patron and get access to exclusive content such as Q&As and behind the scenes. But in the end, the best form of support is having you watch and like these videos. And of course, a shout out to our patrons you see on the screen and a special shout out to our power producer Inku Kang. Thanks for watching. My name is Harry and this is EV Source. Keep charging ahead and I'll catch you in the next one. Stay safe and take care.